really, I had to really, I had to really like push myself to do anything extra other than just getting through the day uh, working. Uh, so when she's going on and on about how all this stuff worked and uh, am I like freezing up? Because I am on my end. You're, you're oh, there. there. There I am. Like we can uh, hear you, but there's weird. Yeah, I was like this. Yeah, like Max. Uh, so, so now that looking back, she must have been like, "Yahoo!" Because I, I was one of those people that uh, messaged saying, "Yeah, I'm interested." And so we started talking. And that day, that day, I ordered a four week experience. Absolutely zero expectation that this would be any different because I had done, you know, 59 years old. You know, and I had done everything, you know, the old fad diets. I had done the Weight Watchers. I had done countless, too many to count, uh, gym memberships where, you know, I was paying forever and I'd only went like three times. So definitely was not thinking that this was going to be any different. That and I was, I was hesitant um, because at that point, uh, three years ago, I had like 15 years clean um, from drugs and alcohol. And so the thought of popping a couple of little magic capsules in the morning to boost my energy, I'm like, uh, you know, that's not really, that's how I've stayed clean all these years is by not popping magic capsules. So why I decided to do it was because my friend who introduced me to this stuff um, was also in recovery. And so even though I didn't know her, know her, I trusted enough and I was just desperate enough to say, you know what, why not? This, this was really going to be my last ditch effort before just kind of slumping down into old age and I don't know, crawling off to die or something, because I felt like that. Uh, so imagine, well, I was going to say imagine my surprise, but uh, I'm sure there's more than a few of you in here that don't, are not surprised that day one. I was like, oh, you know, it wasn't like I was out wanting to run a marathon, but what I really liked was super clean, subtle for me, energy. Um, and so I was thinking, you know, I was still a little bit, you know, like, well, that's great, you know, day one, but, you know, not really thinking that this thing would last any length of time. And so the big thing was that because I'm uh, being an addict, you know, I'm like addicted to everything on the planet, um, sugar, um, junk crap, man, you talk about, you know, because after people get clean, they usually, you know, pack on the pounds because they, you know, pick up the old fork. And so I had gained a good, I don't know, probably 40, 50 pounds. So from day one, sugar uh, craving disappeared. I had to remind myself to eat. And that had not been my story in many, many years. So thinking, okay, this is awesome, but is it going to work? Um, is it going to continue? Well, you know, here it is three and a half years later. And yes, it's continued. I had uh, absolutely zero interest in promoting this stuff because for, for one thing, I still don't really know what MLM stands for. I I remember sometimes and then it leaves me, so I don't know. So zero interest in promoting this stuff. So what happened was that I had, uh, people were like, hey, what's going on with you? You know, not only was I like, yeah, you know, really like crazy about this stuff. Um, so people were interested and people were asking and people were wanting to order. And so I was like, yay, driving for free. And as a, as a couple months into being a customer, um, uh, my promoter would ask me, hey, you know, ready to make a couple bucks with this stuff? And I'm like, man, you know, I am non salesman. I don't know anything about this stuff. So I'm good. You know, yay, I'm thriving for free. However, as a couple months went on and people were more and more interested, more people, I was like, mm, all right, why not make a couple bucks? So you talk about ignorance on fire, truly. Truly, because I still can't tell you what the ingredients are in this stuff. Uh, and the great news is, is that you, 
if if you are that kind of research and fact finding person, yay, um, there's a place for you. But I'm just letting you know there's a place for people like me that still don't really know a whole hell of a lot other than this stuff works and that I love it and that I want to share it with the world because I know how many people out there um, always cracks me up when people are like, man, I can't get anybody. Everybody's heard about Thrive. Ha, 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 ha. Absolutely not true. There are so many people that don't have a clue about this stuff. So uh, a couple months into being a customer, I was like, all right, press the promoter button. And, you know, within a, within a month, I went 4K. Um, and this is how um, unaware, I'll put it nicely, unaware I was of this whole get down is that I didn't even realize that we were in a bonus um, season. So when I hit that 4K, it was dollar for dollar. So, you know, as long as I kept up my uh, requirements for the next eight months, I was getting an extra 500 bucks a month. I didn't realize <laughs> that that's why I was getting that extra 500. Man, oh man, I tell you. So yeah, 4K. Woo. And I, I remember even, you know, sometimes when Facebook memories pop up, it's hilarious because <clears throat> it'll be like, I was a promoter and I was like, yeah, you know, I don't know anything about all this promoting stuff, but you can ask my friend so-and-so, my um, promoter at the time, about this stuff. You know, she knows more than I do. So it was just, it started steamrolling. And I think that, I don't remember, I think it was about, I don't know, four months, maybe five months, um, I hit 12K. And I was like, wow, all right, dang. On top of that extra 500 bucks a month for that 4K bonus, I was getting an extra 300 because I liked the car I had, so I wasn't going to go rush out and buy a new one. Uh, so I was like, I could get used to this. And, you know, we had done the uh, color personality test thing, and I was super, I don't remember what the color was, but just like the one that wants to help everybody, the one that wants to, you know, you know, let's come on, come on, you know, I'll help you get this. And uh, as time went on, I was like, man, I think I'm a little red too. Is it red? That's money. Or is it green? I don't know. Anyway, so the money part started coming in. Um, <clears throat> and so it took me a few more months uh, after that. It was fairly quick and I hit 40K. And I was like, dude, that weekly paycheck going up and the fact that all these people that were trying it with me um, were like, man, man, can you imagine if we would have tried this stuff, you know, years ago? And I said, well, it's a new company, but yeah, I get it. I said, just the fact that we have found it now uh, is just over the top. So, you know, rolling along, rolling along. And, um, and so at this time, this whole time, I had a full-time job. Um, I worked um, at the county uh, at behavioral health as a drug and alcohol counselor. And I also worked at night at a, uh, a men's rehab, uh, just being a babysitter. So before Thrive came into existence, you know, this was like brutal. You know, I wasn't able to really like focus entirely on the clients like I was supposed to, but now it was things were coming crystal clear. I was able to get things in order schedule wise to be able to better manage my time, to be more present with the clients. And, and they noticed a difference too. Um, amazing, amazing. What was really amazing was when, uh, I think it was 2021, uh, in January when uh, bonus stuff dropped again. And this time I was aware that it was bonus. And in January, um, I hit 80K um, during that rank advancement bonus. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. Cause then, you know, your that second Tuesday of the week is, has a whole different meaning. Um, the first time that you get that, that bonus check plus your commissions are going way up, um, you know, not only are you wanting to help people more and more, but the how it elevated my life. You know, I have uh, 14 grandkids 
and to be able to, um, you know, they're at various parts of the United States and to be able to have the freedom to just jump on the plane and uh, go and see them, um, to send them the little extra uh, birthday present. That meant everything to me, um, to be able to have that kind of financial freedom. Two months later, in March, I hit the 200K during the rank advancement bonus. And you talk about like just twilight zone feeling. I was like, is this really my life? Wow, this is my life. It was just, yeah, it was beyond, beyond anything that I could have imagined. So ignorance on fire is still rolling. And I had no idea, none whatsoever, that it wouldn't just keep going up and up and up and up. I didn't know, I still didn't understand how it all worked, uh, which is good sometimes, you know, you just keep on, uh, just keep on going as if. And so I did that. So that was the only month that I hit the 200K. The next month um, I got to like 191 and I was like, ah, oh, so close. Um, I didn't realize that uh, sometimes it'll just go down. Uh, Here's the bottom line is that today I am a, I think uh, this month I'm closing out at about 25. And does that kind of suck? Um, a little bit, but only in the way that, um, you know, I don't, I don't know how to say it. Like, so it sucks, obviously, you know, because I, that first, that first check that I got, um, for when I got that 200K, I mean, I think I made like 20 grand that month. And so how awesome would that be to continue on to that? However, I got a message this morning um, that said, dang, Jennifer, if you had never said yes to these vitamins, I would not be, man, it makes me want to cry because um, I know how much this woman had been struggling um, with her energy level, with her weight level, um, and we, it just affected every aspect of her life and her relationships. And so she, she's been a thriver for two months now. And that message this morning just meant everything to me because she said, if you had never said yes, I would not be um, feeling as alive and as hopeful as I am today. So $25,000 team, I'll take it. Uh, a 4K team, I'll take it. Uh, it's messages like that and impacting these kind of lives to me is way more important than the old cash aspect. And what I do know is that if I hit 200K one time, the possibility to get back there is there. The only way that I'm not gonna get back there is to look over the fence and say, hey, you know what? That grass looks pretty friggin' green over there. I think I'm gonna hop on over there. God bless the people that I have. I had more than a few of my uh, level one, level two, level three uh, promoters uh, jump on over. And what I told them is, I love you. And uh, I wish the absolute best for you. Uh, the only thing that I have to say on it is that the grass is usually not greener on the other side. And uh, when I first started promoting, my promoter told me five-year plan, minimum five-year plan. You cannot stick with this for a year or two or three and say, ah, this stuff doesn't work. Um, can't do it because you've got to give it a solid at least five years. Um, and, you know, even beyond, because we all know how, you know, stuff ebbs and flows. But I could never, ever see myself um, promoting something else um, because, I mean, I mean there, I'm mean, sure there's millions of other products that work, of course, but do they work like Thrive does? Nope. I, I, I know that because I've tried 500 million. And so um, I will never, ever um, shut up about this stuff. I had a... Uh, um, last year, oh, it was about this time last year, um, I was 60, 
62, no, I hadn't turned 62 yet, but uh, almost. And I had, you know, working for the, the last 20 years as a drug and alcohol counselor. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take the, uh, the plunge. I had always known um, that I was gonna have to work until the day that I just like keeled over and they just carted me away. Um, I just knew that that was gonna be my life. But I was like, this Thrive stuff has given me the hope, even if stuff didn't stay at 200K, this has given me enough hope and enough incentive to enjoy my golden years. Uh, and so I just did it. I just put in my notice and said, thank you. And, uh, and just left. And you talk about, oh my God. Oh my God, no more working two, three jobs at a time. Now I have the true freedom for the last year of not punching a time clock, not um, having, you know, some supervisor in my ear telling me something and me wanting to turn around and slap them upside the head. Uh, you know, the only person I have is to slap my own self upside the head. If I, and I have needed it a couple of times. I, uh, so basics, 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 basics. Um, sometimes, you know, I've seen that uh, people have, you know, tried to get too far out there trying to, you know, build their business up. And I, I mean, it works different for everybody. But what I've found for myself is just sticking to the simple five, four, three, two, one, the simple getting into people's messengers, the simple sharing my love for this stuff. Simple, simple, simple. And that's what I need is simple. Um, and what else, Amber? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm making notes from everything you said. I'm like, oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's so good. Um, I want to just kind of recap and give you a second. Um, I'll just recap on, you know, when you first said you were like, I was just desperate enough. And I think about it, how many people on this Zoom can relate to that, right? Like when I placed my first order, it was truly because I was just desperate enough. I was finally ready to go, all right, friend, I'm going to give your stuff a try. I'm so tired of being tired. I'm tired of being miserably unhappy, even though I had everything in the world to be happy for. Um, I'm tired of feeling older, way older than I was, you know, all of that. So definitely just, just desperate enough. So how many of your friends need that follow-up, right? How many of your friends need to hear you say, Hey, have you checked into my thrive step yet? You know, like on the follow-ups, right? Maria sent me 12 plus messages, y'all. Not all 12 were, Hey girl, you ready to thrive, but there was mention of thrive. <laughs> so, um, it was that, that 12th, 13th message that I finally was like, maybe I should check this out. So, you have friends that are in that desperation zone. They need your help. They need to know what you have. And if you're not sharing about it out loud, if you're not having relationships with these people, they're not seeing your social media. If you're not posting on social media, if you're not doing the daily activities, like Jennifer said, the simple daily activities, like don't lie to yourself and say, yeah, I'm doing the do. And nobody knows you're thriving like that is huge. Do people know you're thriving? We have people that are like, well, my business just isn't anything anymore. And I go and look at their page. I'm like, nobody knows what you do. Nobody knows you're thriving. There's no conversation. There's no post about it. There's no talk about the energy I have. None of that. So ask yourself that, you know, are you sharing this thrive life? Um, Jeff, I love that you talked about the grass is greener. People think the grass is greener. Um, I always love when, you know, the quote is the grass is greener where you water it. The grass is greener where you tend to that soil, tend to your business. <laughs> like when you, when you plant the seeds, when you till the ground, when you water it and you continuously water it and you trim out the weeds and you, you know, trim off the dead and you continuously water the crop and the grass where you are, that's going to grow. 
if you, you know, like the, we got new neighbors and they aren't taking care of their grass. Well, guess what? It's full of freaking weeds. Like it's half brown, full of weeds. Um, but the people that lived there before them, the grass was really pretty and it was green. It was because they took care of it. And so if you ignore it, or you only tune into drama, or you only focus on the negative, your business isn't going to grow, you know? Um, Jennifer, let's talk about that. Like, you obviously, like you said, you've had personals leave. Your own person, you had upline leadership leave. What, what did that look like to you? How did you feel And how did you move forward? Because that is something we hear a lot. Well, I don't have leadership. They left. I don't know what to do. So um, I'm going to be totally transparent and say that I was um, kind of knocked off kilter a little bit um, because it was my upline who I considered a friend and then uh, her upline who I um, considered a friend as well. And I mean, even when it was, when it was happening and they told me that they had resigned and I um, said, I wish you the best, you know, I wish you the best, but I didn't wish them the best when they uh, had a little zoom and, uh, you know, and, and here's, a, here's the thing is that they couldn't steal anybody from me that didn't want to, you know, jump, pop on over. So the bottom line is that I had to, uh, and I always kind of have prided myself on not listening to gossip and not taking other people's um, viewpoints as, you know, the Holy grail, but they talked a lot of crap about um, who was down my upline. And so I I'm old enough and I've been through enough to know that um, what people say is not always reality. And so that I was happy about because I love my upline, who is now my upline. And I'm glad that I was able to keep open-minded enough and to follow direction enough, um, or else I could have fell by the wayside too. Um, it did take me, um, it took me a couple months to kind of regain my footing. But that's the thing is that I always knew, I always knew that um, this was gonna be here and that you guys were gonna be here. Um, I think that I have, um, for me anyway, it was an advantage, it's been an advantage to be an addict in recovery because this stuff here, this community um, reminds me of the, the community and the fellowship that I have in Narcotics Anonymous because uh, we all have a common goal and we all, well, I do anyway, wanna see everybody succeed. Um, and so for me to be able to have, um, you know, like I have Jennifer S on here and I have, uh, Sarah Knowlton and, uh, they're not in my upline or downline. They're my sideline. And, um, these people are rock solid in my life. And, uh, so that's what I'm glad that I was able to find out fairly early on is that. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter. We are here for each other. Um, I know that I could call up, you know, message any one of you, people I haven't even met on here or even had a conversation um, to ask a question or to ask their opinion or whatever. And I know that they would answer, Christy Green, I don't know her from Adam. And she inspired me just hearing her talk one time. I was like, dang, I wanna be like Christy um she, yeah you're awesome christy so this morning i got a message from uh i was very surprised uh brandy lovey is my personally enrolled and she's really good friends with uh the promoter my promoter that left and i was surprised that she didn't follow her along with her but she was like girl are you kidding this stuff and i said i know this stuff she messaged me this morning and said Hey, the follow-up, you know, she was just, she put it in our little uh, team chat, our little tiny team chat, with probably like three people, uh, said, the follow-up is real. The follow-up is real. She said, you cannot uh, let your head think 
that, oh God, you know, I've already talked to this person three times about Thrive and they've turned me down three times. I can't not keep bugging them and bugging them. Uh, well, you just got to kind of reframe your thinking. Uh, this is not bugging them. This is, we know what we have in our hands, you know, and I'm not like trying to shove the stuff down people's throats at all because I am doing them a favor, okay? Uh, and, but she said that she followed up this is over the course of like two years. Um, and Brandy has stayed fairly consistent. And so she said this was probably, I don't know, maybe the sixth or seventh time that she's approached this woman about Thrive. And what do you know? It was just the moment in time where she said, you know what? Yes, I think it's time. I'll never, my memory is like, <laughs> it's pretty shot out, but I'll never forget being at Thrive Palooza a couple of years ago. And, you know, the millionaires are up on the stage. And one of them said, you know, and it might have even been you, Amber. I don't know. Um, it was somebody, I don't think it was, but somebody had said, um, thank goodness for so and so approaching me about Thrive for the 13th time because I would not be here on this stage right now. And I was thinking 13 times, you know, like, two times and I'm like, okay, all right. So I had to, that really has stuck with me. And so not every single conversation with the people that have told me no is about Thrive because that, because I know what I feel like when people are like, you know, continuing to do that. And I'm like, shut up, get away from me with that stuff. It's really, it's a turnoff. So building, you know, and people say, God, you know, come on, I got three kids and a full-time job. I don't have time to be building these you know, genuine relationships. Yeah, you do. You do. You really do. Jennifer, um, can I just jump in on that? Because yeah, yeah it is. I, I want to make sure that everybody knows that it's not just about 13 messages of girl, you ready to thrive with me yet. Right. It it's relationship building and it's not, Hey, I'm having a 20 minute text back and forth conversation it's just quick little follow-ups. Like that's how I relationship build. Um, I'm commenting on their stuff on Facebook. Like you can comment on like 20, maybe 30 people's things in five minutes, like mm -hmm. set your alarm for five minutes and legit, <coughs> you can comment and interact and like, and go send messages to 20 or more people in five minutes. And you can also see when people are like on Facebook, and they're commenting, they're like, like for me, I'll just use examples, motocross moms, right? Like my life is moto. Um, and so a lot of my newest friends on Facebook are all motocross community. They're tired moms, they're broke moms. Motocross costs a lot of freaking money. Like, especially now that they're where we are 10 plus years ago, they're on these little bikes, their kids are just getting started. Holy crap, boots are so expensive. Helmets are so expensive, but my kid's head is worth it. You know, how do I do this? So like you see those kinds of things in your feed or, you know, on Sunday night, the, the comments of just got home from a full weekend of racing. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm going to make it to work tomorrow. There's not enough coffee in the world. I'm literally messaging them. LOL. I know exactly how you feel. That's how I felt nine years ago. And then they're like, wait, what do you mean? Like. Those are the things you cue in, you listen. I had a friend, we've been friends since I was like 17, 18 years old. And she, bless her, had another baby at 42. And um, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, dang, girl, you starting over. She's like, and I said, I mean, I get baby fever. She said, oh, by the way, I didn't have baby fever. God is just hilarious. So it was a total surprise for them. Uh, but they love their new baby. But she said, um, she said something in a post yesterday. So is there a factory reset when you have a baby after 42? Because my body is not bouncing back. And I just commented, LOL, not a factory reset, but I do have a nutritional reset. Tell me more. Now I'm in her inbox. 
though like pay attention pay attention build the relationships again you can send 20 or more comments or you know comment interact whatever with 20 or more people in just five minutes if you set your mind to it if you pay attention to it i mean heck we got 15 minute ad videos why why not have 15 minute work sessions like that's how we i'm seeing susan kaufman on here when we started this that is a hundred percent how we built our ignorance on fire business. We, I mean, I was at the hair salon. She was working at the dealership, driving to and from everywhere. I think she said she had post-it notes all over her car. I had, um, I basically just had uh, everybody messages in between shampoos, in between clients. I was so excited when a client was late because I could send more messages or I could answer people that were like, what is Thrive? Um, then, you know, when I get done quicker, I'm like, oh, I got five minutes. How much can you do in five minutes? Not just, well, I only have five minutes. I'm not going to bother. You have five minutes. Like, what can you do in five minutes? You know, like that's that's the reminder. Um, Jennifer, I love that you did touch on, it wasn't just like, oh, well, people left, <laughs> moving on. Like, it is hard. It's hard. But at the same time, she knows what Thrive has done for her. Um, and that's the thing is I always say, I'm like, I don't know how people could leave, take, still taking this product because I'm like this, if this, if Lavelle closed down, it's not, if Lavelle closed down tomorrow, I'm going to be raiding everybody's house. I know to make sure I have thrived for the next 20 years. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't function without it. Um, I'm mentally a better person with it. And so that's the key is, are you taking this product properly? Are you taking it correctly every single day? Do you know what Thrive is doing for you? Are you leading with that with your friends that need this in their body? Like that's the thing over and over and over. Jennifer, okay, so let's talk. There's new bonuses on the table. You, you now get to run after them again yes. at different ranks. So, and somebody said the other day, they're like, you know, I looked at my um, loss of rank as, as a bad thing, as a failure, this and that for a while. Um, and then they said, but then the, the bonus blessing side bonus, the, the blessing side was, Hey, I can run like I ran in the beginning. I can rebuild and I'm going to be blessed, rewarded for it. And the thing is, whether you're available for a bonus or not, you can rebuild your business. You can run after helping more people get it for free, helping more people hit 4K, helping more people get the auto bonus. And as you help others, your business is going to grow. Um, it's like that Zig Ziglar uh, quote that, you can get everything you want in life, the more people you help get what they want. Mm -hmm. So like that, I literally feel like that's how Lavelle was built. Like they mm -hmm. must've been built on that quote is the more people you help, the better you do. It's mm -hmm. just, it's amazing. And we're seeing so many people win again here. Um, Jennifer, what else, what's on your mind? Well, how are you approaching now? Um, you're, you're not, under the pressure of that job that was, was stressing you out. Yeah. Um, you're in a different season. Mm -hmm. How are you running? What are you doing? What advice do you have? So uh, I'm uh, I'm up for the 80K um, re-rank bonus. And like I said, 25K team at this time. But look how much time they've given us to you know, it's the end of April, that's a minute. So what, for me personally, what I have to do is if I like say, oh my God, 25K to 80K, come on, you know, how's that even possible with a team of, you know, like two active promoters? Um, so that's not the way I look at it. The way I look at it is who can I talk to today? Who can I impact today? Which one of uh, the which one of the people on in my downline can I um, inspire to reach out to whoever they need to reach out to? Um, because 
for me, it's just like way too overwhelming. If I go, what, 80K, what, oh, um, that's way too overwhelming. And I don't have to think like that because it really is all about what are you going to do today? What are you going to do? Keep it simple. I, uh, I learned um, probably about a year into promoting because it was, you know, especially because I had the two jobs and, you know, all the stuff going on in life that I didn't really schedule my time it was more like just jumping in there whenever you know the, like they say the nooks and crannies of your life which is fine but for me um in my scatterbrain I had to really time block and that right there was a game changer for me uh to be able to because I keep everything you know on the calendar in my phone and so to look down there you know my brain I have to look on that calendar like 19 times a day. I'm like, dang, I just saw that. How, do I, how did I forget it already? Anyway, thank you, modern technology. So to look down at my calendar on my phone and to see that time block from noon to 1220, let's say, um, and to have specific um, um, things that I'm going to do in that 20 minutes, really, that really changed my business because I was able to be more intentional. I was able to say, all right, yay, I did that 20 minute block. And then, you know, I would have another block at, let's say, you know, 6 p.m. or 8 p.m., whatever. Um, and they can be just little 15, 20 minute blocks. They don't have to, you know, be get grandiose, you know, two hour time slots. I mean, if you have that, then do it. I mean, like I have that now. Um, I can dedicate that much time. So yeah, time blocking was um, super important for me to um, be able to do it. Cause I, I get that a lot. A lot of that, those comments is, you know, especially, you know, the young mothers that have, you know, babies or, you know, toddlers and, um, you know, the family life and uh, they may even have, you know, a job that they have to go to. They're like, there's no way, there's no way that I can't cram all that you know, and, you know, be messaging people and building relationships and doing all that. Um, and so I kind of show them step by step, you know, how very simple it can be and how um, accomplished I felt after uh, being able to stick to. And of course, you know, things fluctuate, things come up, but still, come on, 15, 20 minutes, you know, just like people have, I've heard it a million times on Zooms, you know, it's your business. It's yours. Um, how, you know, brilliant is it that we're under this umbrella of Lavelle and that we have all this support swirling all around us, but ultimately it's your business. So are you willing to get up, um, you know, 30 minutes earlier in the morning before you have to start your day? Are you willing to stay up 30 minutes later in the evening after the household settled down, you know, only you can say that. Um, and it's whatever works for you individually. And that's what I, man, that's is what I cannot say enough about this business is that although it's your business, um, you know, all you have to do is log into your cloud and, you know, it's all laid right there at our feet. You know, I mean, even, even the thing that they put up recently about the five, four, three, two, one, dang, you know, it's awesome that, you know, that we're practically kind of getting, you know, spoon fed this stuff. And so obviously we have to take the action to put that stuff into um, place because, you know, we can be on Zooms every single day. And like I've heard this a million times too, is that, yeah, Zoom every single day. But what are you doing after you leave the meeting? You know, are you taking this stuff and implementing it? into your life. Um, and so if you're the kind of person like me that has to take things in bite-sized chunks and can't like think about the whole entirety of it, um, then that's where just taking it day by day or taking it 15 minute blocks at a time works. You know, and I've come across people that um, really can see the whole entirety, the whole scope of, you know, what could be and what needs to, you know, so that's also what I love about this is because there's so many different um, approaches and tips and tricks that work for different people. 
you know, I'll get on a Zoom and listen to somebody. I'm like, yeah, that's not something that is going to work for me. Or it's something that I've tried. It doesn't work for me. And then very next Zoom is like, yep, yep, yep. Uh, I, I agree, I agree, I agree. And we're all human, you know. And so life shows up. But what we do is we just keep reaching out. And we just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And what do you know? It works out. And hopefully before the end of April, I'll be in here. Yeah, 80K. Woo <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely possible. And, you know, I love that you said, talking about you can be on all the Zooms, you know, but that doesn't mean you can be on 20 Zooms a week. You can find them. You could be on them. Being on a Zoom isn't going to grow your business. Listening to a call isn't going to grow your business. It's the action and activity you do after you get off of the Zoom, right? What are you taking away and what are you implementing? Um, I could watch YouTube exercise videos all day long, but unless I'm actually working out to them, I'm not going to get abs. Like, <laughs> you know, it's so you, what are you doing? What action and activity are you building relationships? Are you bringing new people into your contact realm? You know, like I learned for me that next step, because I've been doing this for so long, um, that same group of people that still aren't thriving with me, those are not the people that I need to be keeping reaching out to. I keep relationships with them because I know them in real life, but I've got to expand my relationship building. I've got to expand um, my network, you know? And so adding more people into my social media network, into my, I'm out and about, I'm adding them, I'm meeting them, I'm meeting people. I love to meet people. So um, sometimes I have to delete people, um, but <laughs> you know, like you just, you just never know how life goes. Um, but I meet people out and about. I add them, I meet them in groups, I add them. Um, do you build in groups, Jennifer? Like how, how are you getting new people into your network? Well, at first uh, it was just, obviously, you know how it is. At first it's all your people that are, you know, in your circle, in your real life. Um, and so beyond that, I went to a few groups and um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was not good at um, building the relationships in the groups. Um, and I think, so it's been a learning process. So about myself, because, you know, I could go into the, you know, recovery from addiction type groups, or I can go into, um, I had a son that um, suffered a traumatic brain injury last year. So I went into the TBI support groups. Um, but I need to, um, I still haven't done it. So it says it's still a yet. I need to discover more about um, what really is my passion um, and get into those kind of groups. So here it is, you know, I'm 62 years old and um, I still haven't, um, really discovered that part of my business so mine mostly has been face-to-faces uh growing my network um i meet a lot of people out there in the world and um i'm not um shy to um you know give them my business card and just ask them if um you know that if we could you know can we be friends um, and so that's the way that that works. I also leave, um, anywhere I go, I leave my business cards. Um, even if I haven't even talked to anybody like, um, at a, <laughs> wherever, a gas station, a restaurant, um, uh, wherever I go. And you know, what's a trip is that, um, I mean, I've left hundreds of cards, um, all over the United States when I travel and I've gotten, um, I mean, you know, out of hundreds, um, a half a dozen. That's not, I mean, I didn't even expect that, but uh, I would just all of a sudden get, have this new customer account and I'm like, who the hell are these people? And <laughs> uh, and so then I'll email them and say, hi. And they're like, yeah, we uh, found your business card in this truck stop in. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe I haven't gotten any more weirdo uh, uh, messages, but you just never know. You just never know. Um, so that it, I'm glad that you brought that up because um, I'm putting that on my calendar day. And one of my time blocking thing is to just explore because I do need to, yeah. you know, I wanted to ask you too, Amber, um, is what is your thoughts on, um, because there's, I see there's two schools of thoughts on this. I was always taught, um, don't have other thrivers um, commenting on your, your posts because it just gets like inbred, um, maybe like once a week for a flex Friday or something. But I've noticed um, that there's another school of thought and everybody in there, you know, there that a lot of people are commenting on, you know, fellow Thrivers posts. So what, what's your thoughts on that? So, okay. I comment on people that are in my feed. So like when my friends that are thrivers or hitting ranks or things like I'll comment. Um, I'm not one. And, and this is, this is just not how I was taught and I don't see it working out for me. Um, when I've seen it, I feel like it's in my personal opinion. So I'm not stepping on any toes in my personal opinion that, um, where you, oh, go show love on my post, all those things. I feel like that is it's a time consumer, time sucker sometimes. And then, yeah, what that does is you're only seeing your algorithm is only showing you those thrivers. So if you're commenting on other thrivers things, you also want to make sure that you're commenting on non thrivers things so that you can make sure your algorithm is, is an algorithm algorithm yeah. is set to show you more than just those thrivers you know because there is definitely a time where all I was seeing with thrivers and so in your mind you think well everybody I know is thriving well that's just because the same 20 people are in your social media um but yeah I follow the ones that like Susan like I would never unfollow Susan we're like besties in real life you know so I wouldn't unfollow her. I do comment, but I don't comment on all her stuff, you know, um, a comment on the things that I see. And then sometimes she's like, oh, this happened to me. I'm like, I never saw that. I didn't even notice that. But that's social media for you. Nobody. That's a good point, too. As I'm talking, not everybody sees your stuff um, and you're missing people's stuff as well. So make sure, you know, you have your list of people that you're going and you're purposely looking and coming at their stuff and then adding another five people that you're going looking and purposely coming on their stuff. I want to talk on groups really quick, Jennifer, because I will tell you for me, the biggest thing I learned, um, and this really helped regrow my business and kind of reset how I'm adding to my network is you join groups. Now, like you said, those are all groups that you could take value from, and you can also give value to because you've been in both situations. And so, yeah, like I'm in groups that are about, or a part of me. Um, I will join groups and I'll kind of see, you know, is this, is this a good group for me? Um, certain boy mom groups, I'm like, Ooh, y'all crazy. Um, but certain <laughs> like teen mom, not teen mom, but teen moms of teen boys. One of them is a little crazy and one of them has great support. <laughs> um, so you kind of, you figure that out. Right. And one thing this summer, um, I was at a Nashville event and Tommy, um, Tidwell had said like, he's in a Costco group. And basically if he makes a post and the people that comment, he friends, every single one of them. Mm -hmm. And so now they're, you're, they're added to your social media. If you find out that person's crazy, I don't like what they post, then you go delete them. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, I've had somewhere like, there's some nasty girls out there. And I, like in my feed, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I don't need these sexual posts in my feed. <laughs> so I've, I've deleted them after I had friended them and thought they were normal people. Um, but <laughs> yeah, like that's just not my thing. Um, but that, that helped me get to know and build relationships, right? So I quit, I got out of my head of, I can only friend people that I've actually had conversations with. I can only friend people that I really have met, you know, or whatever. That's what I told myself in my head before that. 
So I've been friending people from travel groups. Um, if they have, if I make a post and they have information, I'm, I'm like, thanks so much. And I'm messaging them. Hey, which tour group did you use to go to this rainforest? Hey, which this did you use? And I'm friending them to send them a message and then letting them know, Hey, I friended you. So you'll see my message. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've just gotten more and more friends that way. And then more and more people are seeing me thrive out loud, you know? And so don't question because here, here's what I think, at least this is what I told myself. I think I hindered myself from friending more people a while back because I thought they were all going to talk about me in the group that watch out Amber's friending all of us, <laughs> but there's not, there's no, they don't all know, you know, and I'm not, not friending 50 people a day. I'm friending the people I'm interacting with in the groups. And like when it comes up, you know, people you may know. And right now it's all motocross moms. I'm like, friend, 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 friend. Like mm -hmm. we have stuff in common. I have things I can help them with, you know, that kind of thing. All right. We are wrapping up. Jennifer, do you have 30 seconds last advice to anybody? Um, the grass is not greener on the other side. <laughs> Stick and stay stick and stay at least um i know some of you have been in have been with thrive for longer than um five years but especially for those of you that haven't um blinders on man do not get distracted by the shiny objects on either side of you because um this is the place you can really make a go of this thanks for having me absolutely thank you so so much thank you for joining us thank you everybody it is it's officially payday. Um, so the, the rewards of your work from last week are now in your cloud office. So thank you so much. See you next Tuesday. Uh, we'll have different guests, different hosts. Super excited. Bye, y'all.